ghrelin versus leptin hunger hormones have you ever wondered why you feel hungry just a few hours after a big meal or why sometimes no matter how much you eat you never seem to feel full the answer lies in the battle of two hormones ghrelin and leptin understanding ghrelin ghrelin is like an alarm that goes off when the stomach is empty like the hunger hormone produced in the stomach which signals the brain to increase appetite and promote fat storage this is important for survival and modern lifestyle factors can disrupt this natural process leading to challenges like overeating and weight gain meal timing and sleep patterns influence ghrelin levels meal timing ghrelin levels naturally increase before meals signaling hunger and decrease after eating irregular eating patterns can disrupt this cycle leading to increased ghrelin levels and potentially more frequent feelings of hunger smaller less satisfying meals may not suppress ghrelin effectively leading to quicker rebounds in hunger levels high protein and high fiber meals on the other hand tend to be more effective at reducing ghrelin levels post eating contributing to longer satiety sleep patterns sleep duration shorten sleep is associated with higher levels of ghrelin lack of sleep can disrupt the normal rhythm of ghrelin secretion leading to increased appetite and potential weight gain over time sleep quality poor sleep quality can also impact ghrelin levels and appetite regulation disturbed sleep patterns such as those seen in sleep disorders can lead to imbalances in hunger hormones circadian rhythms the body's internal clock influences ghrelin levels with the natural fluctuations occurring across the 24 hour cycle disruptions to the body's natural circadian rhythms such as those experienced by shift workers or due to jet lag can alter ghrelin levels and appetite additional factors stress chronic stress can increase ghrelin levels potentially leading to stress induced eating or emotional eating exercise physical activity can have varying effects on ghrelin intense or prolonged exercise might temporarily suppress ghrelin levels while a regular or moderate exercise can help regulate its long term balance nutritional status nutrient deficiencies or malnutrition can affect ghrelin secretion with the body potentially increasing ghrelin levels to signal the need for nutrient intake understanding and managing these factors can help in controlling appetite supporting weight management and maintaining a healthy relationship with food it's essential to consider these aspects in the context of individual lifestyle health status and personal goals for optimal results understanding leptin leptin is the satiety hormone produced by fat cells which tells the brain you're full and reduces appetite while leptin serves as the body's natural fullness gauge ensuring we maintain a healthy energy balance it's crucial to recognize that sometimes this system can malfunction much like the car's fuel gauge just as a faulty fuel gauge might fail to accurately indicate when the tank is full leading to overfilling or running on empty our bodies can experience a similar issue known as leptin resistance leptin resistance occurs when the brain stops recognizing leptin's fullness signal despite the body having ample energy reserves in fat cells this miscommunication can lead to persistent hunger overeating and subsequent weight gain factors contributing to leptin resistance are high fat diets chronic inflammation elevated free fatty acids high leptin levels to mitigate leptin resistance it's like performing a maintenance of your car to ensure the fuel gauge and engine run smoothly this can involve improving diet quality reducing inflammation regular exercise and adequate sleep for more in depth information visit our website irastoworldhealth.com thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye